Hello, my amazing students. This is Mrs. A, and here is the promised 4.4 homework. Um, I would imagine that most of you did not have trouble with this one, but I'm going to do them for you anyway, just in case. Um, this one was on the permutation and combination section, 4.4. First problem is number 5. Okay, so here is number 5, ATM pin numbers. A thief steals an ATM card and must randomly guess the correct PIN code that consists of four digits, each one zero through nine, that must be entered in the correct order. Repetition of digits is allowed. What is the probability of a correct guess on the first try? Okay, so we have four slots for the code numbers, zero through nine, so that's ten options each, and repetition is allowed. So this one is actually a um, fundamental counting principle here because we're doing with replacement, meaning we can continue to um, use all 10 digits. So we're going to have 10 ways to have the first digit, 10 additional ways to do the second, 10, 10. And so the number of possible codes would be 10 to the fourth or 10,000. Therefore, the probability of getting it correct is 1 out of 10,000. And that is the correct answer for number 5. All right, the next one we're going to do is number 9, grading exams. Your professor has just collected eight different statistics exams. If these exams are graded in random order, what is the probability that they are graded in alphabetical order of the students who took the exam? Okay, so we have eight exams and we're talking about order mattering. So since the order matters, we're talking about a permutation. And this one is one where replacement is not allowed because the exams can't be graded a second time. So once you've graded the exam, that's it. Therefore, it will be a permutation. And here's the board. We're looking for alphabetical, and there's only one way to get all of the exams in an alphabetical order. Um, so we've got eight ways to choose the first exam, seven ways, six ways for the next one because you can't replace them. So that is basically 8 factorial if you just do it that way. But if you use your permutation formula, it is, we are grading all 8 exams. So it's 8 permutation 8. So 8 factorial goes on the top, and then 8 minus 8, or 0 factorial, goes on the bottom. 0 factorial is 1. So we get 8 factorial over 1, which is just what we got when we reasoned it out there. Okay. So that's the first board, and then I went on to the math uh, button on my calculator and found that 8 factorial was 40,320. Therefore, 1 over 40,320 is the probability that he got the um, papers in the right order alphabetical order. So um, the papers are in alphabetical order one out of four, zero, three, two, zero. Not very likely. Okay, so here's how we use the math button on our calculator. I'm going to go to first, I'm going to type in the eight. So I put in the eight there. Can you see my, my thing? Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the math button right here. And when I do that, I'm going to go all the way to the right for probability. So I'm going to do my little right arrow key over here, go down to probability, and go down again, trying to see my buttons here, go down to 4, which is my factorial symbol, hit enter, and it's going to give me the 8 factorial. I enter again and I get the 40,320. So make sure you know how to use your calculator before you come take a test in a week or so. All right, the next one we're doing is number 11. A presidential candidate plans to begin her campaign by visiting the capitals of five of the 50 states. 
If the five capitals are randomly selected without replacement, what is the probability that the route is Sacramento, Albany, Junio, Hartford, and Bismarck in that order? Okay, so um, remember we have 50 states we're choosing from. We're choosing five capitals in the order does matter. So we're going to use a permutation of 50 things taken five at a time. So here's the board that I have prepared for you. And um, five out of the 50, and so we want this order um, of the cities that we're going to go. The order matters, so we'll use a permutation. 50 states choosing five destinations is going to be 50 factorial over 50 minus 5, which is 45 factorial. And when you calculate that on the calculator, you get this. Let's see if I can focus in on that. So I have 50 factorial divided by 45 factorial, 2542512200. And that is correct because I have the answer key. And so the probability, so there, that's how many ways that we could do this. So the probability that you would get the cities in the order that they wanted them would be one over that big number. Okay, and the answer is right there in the grade book. And that's exactly what we had on the calculator. So that was number 11. All right, so this one is number 12. A survey with 12 questions is designed so that three of the questions are identical and four other questions are identical except for minor changes in wording. How many different ways can the 12 questions be arranged? So um, I have prepared the board for you. Since this is talking about repeated values, we're going to use our um, repeated value, which I call the distinguishable um, permutations. So we're going to have 12 factorial on the top, and on the bottom, we're going to have the three that were the same, and then the four that were the same. And we end up getting 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, all the way down to 1. That's 12 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. And when we do that, I went and did mine on the calculator um, using the um, math button, but we could cancel out those four factorials there. And then the three and the two cancels the six. And then we can multiply all the rest of that out or use our factorial button. And we get this big number here, 3,326,400. And that is indeed the correct answer in the answer key. So that is how many different distinguishable permutations you can get out of um, the survey questions. Okay, number 29 is very interesting. It says, as of this writing, the Mega Millions lottery is run in 44 states. Winning the jackpot requires that you select the correct five different di numbers between 1 and 75, and in a separate drawing, you must also select the correct single number between 1 and 15. Find the probability of winning the jackpot. How does the result compare to the probability of being struck by lightning in a year, which the National Weather Service estimates to be 1 out of 960,000 um, as the probability for being struck by lightning? So what I did is I took the five numbers out of the numbers 1 through 75, and here's my little board here, okay? So we had to get five numbers between 1 and 75, and then in a separate drawing, we had to get one specific number between 1 and 15. So we have two different drawings with two different situations. So the first one, it does not say the or numbers have to be in order. So we're going to use the combination of 75 things taken five at a time. And then we're going to do combination. Now, you'll look at the formula. Whether you use combination or permutation means no difference at all because you've got a 1 in there. But just for consistency, I went ahead and used combination of 15 things taken one at a time. So the combination over here, the 75 goes on the top. 
the 5 and the 70 go on the bottom because remember those numbers on the bottom always add to the one on the top in a combination. And then I did the same thing over here, putting the 1 on the bottom and then the 14 on the bottom because 15 minus 1 is 14 and 14 plus 1 is 15. So I've got my layout there but I have to do my calculations. So, board number two here is right here. My 75 factorial divided by my 70 factorial is there because the 70 factorial is gonna cancel out and then I've got the five times four times three times two. So this one on the top is the, that one right there, okay, and then I did the times 15 at the end because the times 15 at the end took care of the, this one right here, which was the second probability. So we wind up getting all of those ways that this could happen. So there are 258,890,850 ways that could happen. Therefore, the probability of a win is 1 over that. Now remember, the probability of getting struck by lightning in a year was 1 over 960,000. 1 over 960,000, okay? And that is way... Um, more likely than this one, which is one out of 258 million. So I thought that was very interesting. If you actually knew that you were more probable to get struck by lightning than to win the lottery, would you buy the tickets? All right, the last one for this for tonight is for this section is 23. Corporate Officers and Committees. The Digital Pet Rock Company was recently successfully funded via Kickstarter and it must now appoint a President, Chief Executive Officer, Chief Operating Officer, and Chief Financial Officer. It must also appoint a Strategic Planning Committee with four different members. There are 10 qualified candidates and officers can also serve on the committee. How many different ways can the four officers be appointed? Now, in this case, the officers are going for different positions, so it would seem that order would matter. So if you were choosing the first one, you would, you know, let the first chair go to the president or whichever one was the highest one. In any case, they're all going for different positions, so order matters in this one. So we're going to use a permutation of the 10 qualified candidates choosing four to be officers. So permutation of 10 things taken four at a time. And so here we go. Here's the choosing of the officers. Permutation, 10 things taken four at a time is 10 factorial over 10 minus four factorial, which is 10 factorial over six factorial, which winds up the six factorials cancel and we end up with 10 times nine times eight times seven which is 5,040 different ways to choose the four officers. And that is correct in your answer key. And the second portion says, how many different ways can a committee of four be appointed? Now this is a committee, remember combinations committee because order does not matter which order you get on the committee. So now we're gonna do, since the officers can be reused for the committee, we're going to have 10 uh, things chosen four at a time for a committee. So we have this board, a committee ha a combination has two things on the bottom. So 10 factorial over four factorial, six factorial. The um, denominator factorials add together to give the 10. So the six factorial cancels and we end up with 10, nine, eight, seven multiplied all together. On the bottom, we've got a 4, 3, 2, and we wind up canceling the 8 from the top and the bottom and a 3 from the top and the bottom. We end up with 210. Okay, so 210 is the B answer, and that is correct. And the last question says, 
what is the probability of randomly selecting the committee members and getting the four youngest of the qualified candidates? Okay, so we're talking about a committee and it doesn't matter which way we choose them. So we've already done how many ways you can select a combination for the committee. And there's only one way to get the four youngest candidates. So since there were 210 ways to get a committee, then one divided by 210 would be the answer for the C portion here. And here is your little answer set there. And that one is correct. And we are done with problem set 4.4. And this is Mrs. A. And may God bless your day.